Okay, we are live. So, hi everybody, again, just doing another live stream, just because I wanted to get some content out there. Not very professional. Um, but I've personally been trying to get this Coltec 1706 Deep Sea Challenger mission to spawn in. It wasn't completely clear, but I just had to read the, the comments basically. So that's a tip, please read the comments. Um, this is from uh, Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy, who's got some really good ships, which I'm going to be doing sea trails on in the near future. But I wanted to get this in because I work for a company uh, called Aviva. We work very much in the oil and gas industry. In fact, every single offshore rig um, pretty much is designed with our software, uh, without exception, I think. Um, so I was very interested to see this and um, yeah, I, I, I struggled to get it going myself. So basically you need to subscribe to this. You go into um, a game. So let's just pick um, that sea trials I was using. And it's in the mission editor, but Stormworks have changed the way that works. So it's not called the mission editor anymore, but I'll show you how to get to it. So you load in any game, as far as I understand. You hit escape. Sorry, let's just turn this weather off. Uh, sorry about this. This is typical live stream stuff. So it's smashing against the wall. Right, so you get your, your quiet mission in. You hit add on editor. I don't know why it's called that. Uh, you load from your workshop and you'll see now Coltix Deep Sea Challenger as a mission basically and then this is where um, the author was referring to choose a location so let's just choose this rise uh, well I've done this one actually so let's just do it again test location is what you do to pick the location um, and now it will spawn in this vehicle if you give it a second so there we go you can then go to the map and we're looking for a vehicle symbol um, so there we go and we've got at the Wyvern Plateau and I'm just going to go in as close as I can here and teleport. So I'm using um, custom game mode, which is uh, how I basically managed to get this to spawn in properly. Uh, so we're on the platform. You can see here it's got a nice big dynamic positioning thrusters. I'm just going to use the home key to get onto this platform. So I won't cheat too much, I think I'll go just here. Right, so I'm on the platform. Um, yeah, so this very long set of stairs, there's how you would get on from a supply vessel or something docking on the side. You'd probably be helicoptered on in real life. Um, and let's just go up to the main deck. So oil rigs, um, well, it's a generic term for things which are out there. Uh, helping in the production hydrocarbons come in all shapes and sizes this is what we call a semi sub which means that some of it is submerged you can actually see down there the pontoons which are like big barges um, and we do this in the industry because that gives them a nice uh, sea keeping so some of that um, platform is underwater which is providing generally the buoyancy to keep all of this weight for the, the top sides, the superstructure stuff here, the working parts going, but you only allow the legs to pierce the surface of the water. And what this means is that this platform won't roll horribly and pitch up and down in strong seas too badly. So um, since I usually do sea trials, why not test this concept out? and give her a little bit more wind. So this is probably where you would land. I'll give her a gale, just over 50% here. I'm going to go off with this camera here. Um, yeah, in reality, that would be ballasted down so that those pontoons you see there would be under the water. Um, and the water line, as you can see there, would be where that paint is, just underneath that paint, or maybe quite a bit further down. And that will give you the nice seat keeping. But you can see there she's rolling, pitching, 
just ever so slightly. And I'm not too sure if it's modeled, but if you sunk this down, that's the behavior you would get. So the other thing I wanted to check is she's not anchored. DPS system is not on. So that's one of the first things that I'm going to do. So back on deck, deep sea challenger and scale wise, it's quite hard to tell. It's probably about a quarter of the size of a real rig. Um, rigs come in all different shapes and sizes, drilling rigs, which this seems to be um, with this big, what you call a derrick in the middle, tend not to be that big. Um, it's more your production rigs that have a lot of um, production work on them. So let's uh, simulate what would happen. So we'd land here in our helicopter. We would be cornered off here. You hold the handrails the whole way and they usually go straight into this uh, sort of sheltered area. So I realize I'm gonna have to come here. Where, yep, uh, okay, it's got a control room, but you'd normally come straight into an area where you'd get your briefing. But let's just see, we can start her up here. So lights are on. So this is fire safety. Um, just gonna put some lights on. We'll go over, so this is representing a control room, effectively the bridge of a vessel. Let's turn the whole system on. Uh, enable thrusters. Enable dynamic positioning. So this is that same system from Faulkner, which is quite nice where we can basically see, um, I don't really want her to weather vane. Can see what the thrusters are doing there. So they're thrusting away put them on high gain and it'll bring it on station there. So that's her pretty much on station. And we'll just check what else is going on here. This is ballast. So okay, that's driving around. I would like to ballast this down. So we'll have to go and find that. So fill stable, stabilize, fill stable. Um, yeah, as I said, this is what you need to do on a SEPI submersible. You need to ballast her down until those pontoons are under the water. You tow it probably with the pontoons like this is slightly better hydrodynamic uh, or less resistance. But once you're on station, you would certainly want her to sink down. So you can see how she's rolling around there. Quite bad if you're an offshore oil worker. Let's see how she does after she's uh, filled up. So I think we can leave that for a while. Um, I want to go and see if I can find a briefing room, which I'd expect, okay, maybe not too small thing in Stormworks. So we've got here, that's our kind of bridge area. Uh, yeah, and then we've got here our crew quarters. So everything seems pretty nice here. Yeah, nice cozy rooms. Uh, we'll close these doors. Uh, we've got a crane here, which looks really cool. If that works, that will be awesome. Um, it's not too laggy. Um, I've got it in here. It's the same as any of the other larger ships. So we've got our antennas and this kind of stuff going on up here. So you can see she's rolling quite a lot now. Uh, but that is my fault for putting the wind up so, so high. Let's just take a little tour around. Um, so all this stuff here, super high railings on oil rigs. I've not actually been on a real oil rig. Um, I just have a lot to do with them and I've been on a lot of 3D models of them. So I, I understand, I've seen a lot of photographs, 360 photographs. I understand all of the kind of safety and some of the operational things that go on. Um, We've got our nice rescue rib here. This is a huge rib, uh, but I guess if you're playing this in game, you would want this to rescue your, looks about, you can carry about 20 people. Nice meaty motors by the look of it. And we'll go down. Oil rigs are a little bit like a maze um, and they're kind of designed for safety. So we've got in here, um, you'd have a lot of rooms like this with um, kind of key operational systems. So it could be a ballasting room. There seems to be fuel tanks. It could be mud. There's all sorts of things that you might want to have uh, on an oil rig. 
and then we've got this pretty impressive machinery here which looks like it's on rails and it can actually drop down our drilling bit perhaps into our into our well there so it's pretty well protected that's good you wouldn't want people to run over that that hole um let's just go down and see what we can see below here so nice and sheltered we've got that hole through the for the drill bit and then that's just an inspection area by the looks of it uh, we've got a really cool rov in here which is amazing so when i'm going to play this later i'm going to get in this rov and go down and inspect what's going on on the seabed uh, we have got here pumping system could be a fire system this is another structure this is for off and on loading i assume uh, let me just do a little bit of a, a check on the see ah, ballasting it's looking a bit better pontoons partially under the water uh, so yeah this could be some kind of on and off loading gantry system that will slide out perhaps um, and again big tank here so again you do have storage on drilling uh, I believe you just need uh, mud basically lubricant for drilling um, let's see what we've got over here nice corrugated iron effect really cool I wonder if these are containers very cool effect very typical of what you'd get on a drilling rig like this and then you've got a bunch of yeah so very typical you need a lot of power um, to power these things they're usually pretty independent of power sources apart from the North Sea perhaps where you have um, uh, you, you actually have electricity cabled on to some of the Norwegian assets so let's just start these engines hold until the light goes out and hear the engine ticking up could be that I've not got fuel in let's just keep around for a bit all right rpm rising so we've got one generator on here the turbo generator I don't know if this is modular engines, but it's really cool. And we want to make sure, I'm assuming that's generating, I'm not going to touch that clutch there. So we could go through and start all of these generators, but this will give us enough power to run the thing. Um, I'm not too sure how our dynamic positioning and ballasting pumps are running. Uh, let's just uh, put on our power here. So there's another control panel, I love this. We've got proper generator room there. We've got all our main switches on. And we've got here, yeah, so we can see we're just running that first one. Uh oh, I just can hear the engine dying on us. So it could be that there's no fuel coming into that. Let's see, engine temperature. So it's just died on us. Could be because I flipped that one. Don't play with what you don't understand. Um, fuel amount, LPM, all right, that's cool. So this is obviously, aha, no diesel fuel. Okay, that's not good. So we're gonna have to go and refuel this thing somehow. So that's our massive generator hull in there. Um, wow, there's just more and more and more and more stuff on this rig so cool let's go down here and yeah I'll just walk on the stairs properly so it's two decks down and we're in a sort of segregated area okay this is called the drill floor aha so okay this is where I was before we've got in here aha this is, uh, yeah, oh my God, cool. All right, 
Uh, this is going to take a, a while to learn. Blow out preventer. Okay, so we have to put something in first of all. We've got here. Oh, that's opening. So annulars are, are kind of mm, a little bit like a camera lens as far as I remember, sort of a mechanism that goes around the drill bit. So you've got three here. If I guess if I opened all three, the drill bit would just drop off. Pressure test. This is just testing each one, I guess, one at a time. Um, really cool. So this is, oh, if this is working, I'll just be dumbfounded by the genius of the creator. So this is your typical, uh, it's not a particularly safe working place. You can see there by the amount of protection going on that, that goes out the drill floor. I'm pretty sure we were on the other side of this. Um, to see how this works is going to be really interesting. Uh, let's go back up the bridge and stop my ballast pumping. I'm just not too sure how this thing's getting any energy at all, uh, but it is. Uh, this is where I forget. So we had our crew quarters. Let's just go right through here. Bridge. Little mast for navigational things. So yeah, we're getting there. Um, half full. I'm not too sure if that stopped. Oh, I think I'm going to stop those. Right. So this is probably a little bit deep in the water. What do you reckon, guys? Do you think she's rolling a bit less? A tiny bit less, actually. I think I'm going to drain a little bit there. So drain. Stable. Drain left and right. Bring this down to let's see how fast this goes down it's 54 percent on one side 50 on the other side which is a little bit scary port needs drained a bit more let's do drain port so she's holding station which means there is some power coming from somewhere uh, but I really want to get these generators going pretty soon. This, this has become a survival game. <laughs> okay, so drain pour didn't stay on. Which either means there's not enough power uh, or we've got another problem. So this has become, you know, oil rig survival, which I completely love. Sorry about leaving all the doors open here. Uh, I'm not really got my bearings here. So we've got our tank over there, generators on that side, rib area, ROV area. I don't know if there was accommodation in there. Let's just run through this again. And again, you didn't leave all your doors open like this. Let's get to the other side. Heli deck. And we haven't been in this part of the superstructure yet, as far as I can tell. Just trying to find the quickest way over to it. Uh, let's have a look in here. So every part of an oil rig is, is functional and you, you uh, okay, is this our, back in next to our Jenny space, okay, yeah. It's functional and, um, yeah, segregated so that, you know, if one thing goes wrong, you don't knock out your navigation systems and all this kind of stuff. So this. There's a lot of kind of segregation that goes on. Uh, let's have a climb up just to end my live stream here because it's my lunch break and I need to go back to work. Um, let's just climb up the tower. Uh, obviously, real life when you're climbing, you'd have lots of safety equipment, I assume. Yeah, it's quite typical that you can see down into these things. I've seen this on a KBR rig, I think it was something, one of the first things I brought into VR. Um, so you've, you've basically got a crane mechanism to pull this up, electricity, because there's a lot of power needed in that whole thing there. Um, this is just so impressive from Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy. What's been done here? Yeah, so huge winch. Okay, so that is connected to huge winch. 
there's probably not too much you need to do right up the top not a particularly nice place to be in a gale uh, like we've got here but the views pretty good yeah um, I've not checked YouTube to see if there's any comments let's just see how do I do that um, bring that whole window oh, come on Chrome or to my other screen which just backfired oh it's been half of a view <laughs> all right um, yeah so this is the Caltex oil rig um, climbing down it's very very scary procedure there we go and storm works um, but that was a little tour of the vessel when it can get its power going I will come back and give you another little recorded demo not a live stream this time um, and of course because it's a game I'm going to jump straight down onto this to have a look at it pipe solid rocket fuel wow my god uh, let me get down and probably break your legs oh, that wasn't too bad so that if this works in any way possible I will be absolutely amazed what I really need is somebody to come in here and play as the ROV operator to give me some audio feedback you know down a bit left a bit um, just a huge thing here so I haven't even been in this red space all right this is just taking us around the outside of the deck so we've not sunk him down so much we're nearly if I can jump and crouch yeah so we are nearly a little bit too low for my liking uh, back to that big tank there this is this kind of gantry system I assume it's for loading so you can see here we've got two massive tanks um, it could be that this is drilling in production in one thing um, but I think my main problem is that there's no fuel on board for me to power my um, to power my generators so that's all from me from this live stream I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will m keep making these catch you later bye bye